So this is the one week review of the Minimed 640G versus the Veo, just to see what the differences have been. And the first thing is, if I was wearing the Veo compared to the 640G, I would have had 14 low alarms per day. I had the predictable alarms or low alarms that I would have had to step in and manage myself. Whereas compared to the 640G, I've only had one alarm per day, which has meant that the 640G with the suspend before low and smart guard has actually managed to prevent three to four hypos per day, independent of me, so I didn't have to do anything. And that is a massive change for me, which has meant that Realistically, I've got one to two hours sleep extra a night and I've spent two hours less per day managing my diabetes than I had to when I was on the Veo. <clears throat> so the Veo, you can prevent the hypos, but you have to work very hard, where it seems to be <clears throat> the 640G, you can just actually allow the, the smart guard to do its job. Oh, there's my cat. And allow the smart guard to do its job um, so that you can then only step in when you really must do. And those times when I've really had to has been when I have significantly over bolus, so I've got my carb counting wrong. Tinker Bell. So i got my carb counting incorrect. And the um, other time is if I exercise with a lot of insulin on board, therefore I, the crash is too quick for the basal to stop it. But it's looking like for me, what, 90, 90 odd percent reduction in my hypo alarms and actually maybe only have to step in once per day or once every two days to actually stop a hypo, which is a massive difference for me. I'd say some of the key learnings I've had is that Actually, the smart guard working and the suspend before low going off three to four times a day, per day is actually a positive thing. I initially viewed it as a negative thing, but if you're a person with diabetes and trying to run tight control, BG is between 3.5 and 9, inevitably you're going to have those times where you're running close to lows. And if this smart guard can stop the incident and restart it independent of you to prevent it, that seems to be um, the suspend before low is actually a good thing. The second thing is get my carb counting right, so something that I've learned um, from someone very kindly on Twitter is that in Europe the food regulations show that um, the fibre is already de deducted from the total carbs so I need to start counting the total carbs in my veg which will help because I've been using a United States based food um, website which has which actually deducts the fibre from the carbs so I need to look, go back look at my carb counting so that's been really useful for me. And yeah, essentially, if I can put it into a bit of an analogy, being on the Veo with um, all the alarms and the low glucose suspend was a bit like owning a Volvo. It's maybe not the best looking thing in the world, but it has all the safety features, but you have to work hard with the steering and it's really quite difficult. And I feel like I've upgraded to a Porsche. Basically, easy to manage, easy to handle, and does all the safety things for you, and it looks great. Um, another analogy which might be a bit more of a <laughs> interesting one is if I guess you had um, maybe a, a partner or a girlfriend or boyfriend that was maybe not the best looking in the world and would nag you quite a bit but was really helpful for you, I feel like I've upgraded to a supermodel where I can live my life how, how basically how I want to do so. Yeah. That's only after one week, obviously. Some of the things that have got to um, come up, firstly, doing a daily blog has killed me, so I'm gonna to have to do change it to a weekly because I've got a job to do and a life to lead as well. But I'm also went out to um, Paris and actually met the the sensor lead for Medtronic in the US and he gave us some really good tips on how to get the best out of sensors and make them as, as effective as possible. So I'm gonna do a vlog on that. And also, um, I have done a separate vlog with all the CareLink reports, which if you're into the nerdy technical stuff, that might be useful to you, for you to see. And following my new information on carb counting in terms of the difference between European and US regulations, I'm gonna do something on that as well. So, hope you find it useful, but one week in, buzzing.